of life, one important thing can increase your chance of success. Confidence. Confidence is a game changer. Confidence! Where do I find that, Jose? First rule, you need a goal. I don't play soccer. Nice all of Right? But not that kind of goal. Mm. What do you want from life? Happiness. Success. Check it. Less worries. Next, you need a strategy. Find the chance. Like a game plan. Exactly. Put in the work and stick to it. Nothing pays better. Trust me. No, 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 no. Then you need to be patient. How patient? More patient. Success cannot be hurried. And need the right team behind you. Do all these things and you will have the financial confidence to achieve anything. Anything? And everything, my friend. In the game of life, one important thing can increase your chance of success. Confidence. Confidence is the game changer. Confidence! Where do I find that, Jose? First rule, you need a goal. I don't play soccer. Nice caller. Right? But not that kind of goal. Mm. What do you want from life? Happiness. Success. Checkmate. Less worries. Next, you need a strategy. I gotcha. Like a game plan. Exactly. Put in the work and stick to it. Nothing pays better. Trust me. No, 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 no. Then you need to be patient. How patient? More patient. Success cannot be hurried. And most important of all, you need the right team behind you. Do all these things and you will have the financial confidence to achieve anything. Anything? And everything, my friend. In the game of life, one important thing can increase your chance of success. Confidence. Confidence is the game changer. Confidence! Where do I find that, Jose? First rule, you need a goal. I don't play soccer. Nice caller. Right? But not that kind of goal. Mm. What do you want from life? Happiness. Success. Checkmate. Less worries. Next, you need a strategy. I gotcha. Like a game plan. Exactly. Put in the work and stick to it. Nothing pays better. Trust me. No, 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 no. Then you need to be patient. How patient? More patient. Success cannot be hurried. And most important of all, you need the right team behind you. Do all these things and you will have the financial confidence to achieve anything. Anything? And everything, my friend.
In the game of life, one important thing can increase your chance of success. Confidence. Confidence is the game changer. Confidence! Where do I find that, Jose? First rule, you need a goal. Right? But not that kind of goal. I'll be introducing our guests. As you can see, they've, they've, all, they've all arrived. And then we will be hearing from our regulators, that is Capital Markets Authority, and also Uganda Retirement Regulatory uh, Authority, both being represented by the respective chief executives. So thank you very much, Keith Kaliajira and Martin Subuga for joining us today. Uh, before they speak, I'll invite uh, our Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Mark Mulatia, uh, to give us uh, a, a warm welcome to this event. And uh, throughout the proceedings, uh, I'll be the host for today. And therefore, I'll be uh, back and forth uh, with you. So without uh, much further ado, I'd like to invite Mark Mulatia uh, to give us a, the chief executive speech. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and good morning to everyone. The CEO of Capital Markets Authority, Mr. Keith Kaliajira, the CEO of Uganda Retirement Benefits Regulatory Authority, Mr. Martin Zubuga, distinguished guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure to formally launch the Sanlam Income Fund today. This event represents a culmination of 18 months working with the regulators, trustees, auditors, custodians, and other stakeholders to establish what we hope will become the benchmark of excellence for Uganda's collective investment schemes industry. The launch also signifies another step in the journey that Sanlam Investments has made in Uganda since we first gained our license to manage client funds from the Capital Markets Authority in 2004. From those humble beginnings, we have seen the business grow steadily over the last 17 years, and Sanlam Investments currently manages Ugandan client assets in excess of 1.8 trillion Uganda shillings. This, according to our other principal regulator, the Uganda Retirement Benefit Regulatory Authority's annual report for 2020, places the firm in the leading position in terms of market share of pension fund managers, although still behind the National Social Security Fund. Sanlam investment growth has been achieved in three main ways. First, there has always been a strong foundation in terms of the shareholder financial strength. Human capital depth of resource and investment expertise as well as technical skills of our team. And for example, we actively encourage and sponsor our employees to pursue CFA charter holder designations. Secondly, these skills in turn have led to consistent and strong investment returns for our clients, which has thirdly led to increased trust in the Sanlam brand, increased trust in our corporate governance structures, and confidence in our ability to deliver these returns in a, consi in a consistent basis. However, 
of these three factors, the most important is trust. It is hard to win and very easy to lose. So Sanlam Investments' ability to reliably deliver our promises to clients remain a key component of our value proposition and continued success. Nevertheless, whilst we are of course proud of what has, what has been achieved over the years, the reality is, th is that up to until now, the services offered by Sanlam Investments in Uganda have only been available to either pension funds or very large institutional investors. Crucially, we have previously not offered any investment products which can be accessed by the individual Ugandan. But today, I'm happy to announce that this changes as we launch the Sanlam Income Fund in Uganda. The Sanlam Income Fund allows anyone with modest savings, and I mean anyone with a minimum investment of 100,000 Uganda shillings, to access the same skills at the same team of investment professionals that are trusted by so many pension funds and institutions in the East African region. <coughs> you can place a lump sum or send regular contributions to the fund and you can start earning a daily interest uh, on your balance immediately. Further, a key design feature of the fund is its flexibility, and is in particular, the ease with which money can be placed in the fund. Thereafter, withdrawn if necessary at a short notice of not more than three days, with no penalties for doing so um, at any time. This means that your savings continue to be accessible, even through your mobile application, your online portal, and any other electronic uh, instructions while the savings in the fund continue working for you and earning interest. As you would expect with any public listed parent company with annual revenues in excess of $8 billion and with the presence in 33 countries across Africa, we have ensured that the fund's governance structure is world class. And of course, it's designed to be in compliance with all necessary regulatory requirements, both uh, in, in, in Uganda and any other jurisdiction that we operate in. And you will hear more about this shortly from the fund's independent trustee, Standard Chartered Bank. Whilst the fund investment policy is quite flexible, we know how hard it is for, to put money aside for the demands and expectations that Uganda continually face for their savings. Sanlam Investments, therefore, has a strong emphasis on capital preservation for all our client funds. Our approach to both running our business and managing our client assets is both conservative, but also innovative, as we seek ways to consistently deliver strong returns, but with low volatility. That is why we have started the Sanlam Income Fund, whereby savers will be able to see the amount of interest earned every single month of the on the investments. The current yield on the fund is over 10.5% per annum, and it has been gratifying to see the growth of the fund over to over 8 billion Uganda shillings in a matter of weeks. And we look forward to emulating the strong growth we have seen in similar products that we offer elsewhere in the East African region, where in total, the Sanlam Investments East Africa Limited is responsible for the investments of over $3.3 billion in client assets. Lastly, but significantly, as a long-term stakeholder in Uganda's financial sector, Sanlam Investment recognizes the importance that a strong capital market can have in developing local businesses and ultimately growing the economy for the benefit of all Ugandans. There is no other, this is another reason why we want to work with the government and our regulators to provide accessible financial service products to all Ugandans. And I hope this is the first of many new initiatives you will see from Sanlam Investments in the months and years ahead. With these few words, I will close and thank you all once again for joining us today in another step for Sanlam Group and Sanlam Investments journey in Uganda. On behalf of the CEO and the Sanlam Investments team, we look forward to offering the Sanlam Income Fund to Ugandans and promote the saving and investment culture as a smart investor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mark, for those remarks. And again, uh, just to thank 
those who have joined us online. Uh, this is the launch for the fund. And to reiterate the benefits of the fund is that it provides a preservation of capital. You can also easily access your money within a day or two. There is no fixed investment period. So you can choose to invest a lump sum. You can choose to invest regularly. It could even be on a daily basis. Uh, the other benefit of the fund is that as we generate interest on a daily basis, we pass that interest on to you in similar fashion. And above all, which brings me to uh, the regulators before us, is that the product is regulated. We do have licenses from uh, Capital Markets Authority, and that is why uh, Keith is here today. So any one of us can use the fund to save for, re uh, uh, for retirement, you can use the fund to save if you want to buy a house. Or if you have an emergency fund uh, that you would like to build, then you can look to us in order to take advantage of the product. We are available to you via email at customer service at Sanlam East Africa dot com or you can reach us via WhatsApp and I think the numbers have been displayed to you. So without uh, further ado, I take this opportunity to invite one of our regulators, uh, Mr. Martin Subuga, the Chief Executive Officer for Ubra. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mugale. Mugale, he has several names. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very honored to be part of this launch, but first and foremost, thank you, Mark, for the compliment, and our regards to the team in Nairobi. My fellow regulator, Keith, the trustee, whom I'm told, is a Standard Chartered Bank. Uh, I know in the audience there are other players that um, we also regulate. I've had, I've seen Octagon present here. Ladies and gentlemen, today is one of those days that um, I'm, I'm proud of the contribution that the regulators are making in development of the financial sector in this country. And I want uh, to commend Sanlam for the, the journey with Sanlam before they got a new name. Uh, when we are starting the regulator, that's the pension regulator in this market, when drafting our investment regulations, we consulted extensively with uh, Mr. Mubali. And I commend you for your input and the institution Sanlam for supporting the sector to grow. And I also want to commend uh, Capital Markets Authority for initiating, uh, for supporting this initi initiative. Creative investment schemes have been with us. Uh, people may think that it's something that has, is new in this market, but it is an old one. Uh, but Keith has really done a lot to promote it. Thank you so much, Keith, for uh, promoting this product. I want to commend Sanlam for this initiative. For us to look at it as from the pensions side, there are three things we are dealing with. The first one, our sector is probably one of the fastest growing sectors in this market. Apparently, we hold around, uh, as at end of June, we had the portfolio of around 17.8 trillion. 17.8 trillion. Of course, Sanlam has a big share in uh, managing that fund. But the biggest challenge is that as the supply side grows, 
we don't have so much investment vehicles around to support the new monies that are coming into play. The second challenge is that when people retire in this market, most, if not 90% of them, they get lump sum payments. Now, when you have lump sum payments, it means that you are not helping these people to retire honorably because they will not have any cash flow in retirement. The product like this one, which provides that a preservation of funds and also creates a window for them to preserve their funds and probably eat a little as they retire or have a mechanism of how it can be uh, packaged in a way that they can get a, a modest cash flow during their retirement lifetime. It really provides that support and I think we would be contributing greatly in overcoming old age, old, 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 older, old age uh, poverty. So we look at it from the investment perspective, growing the portfolio and I've just said it's uh, around 8 billion in, in uh, just weeks and I commend you for that. There's quite a lot. And the other big challenge is that <coughs> of the population we have to date that is uh, covered, the working population is around 16 million in this market, but only 2.8 million is covered under the pension, pension side. But unfortunately, when you look at the portfolio I've talked about, quite a number, which is probably almost a third of that, is 45 years and above. And if the retirement age for NSSF is uh, 55 years, it means that in the next 10 years, we are likely to see a huge drop in these funds. So why are these funds going to go? So an initiative like this one is really a good one to us. We see that uh, it's going to create a, an avenue where people can think around where to save and where the funds can provide that long-term sustainability during the retirement life. I want to commend you once again to thank you for this initiative and commit our support as uh, the sector regulators, of course to regulate Sunlam from the fund management side, but I also believe that together with the Capital Markets Authority, the regulators of this uh, collective investment scheme, this unit trust, we can grow this product further, we can promote it, we can sell it, we can be able to advise many stakeholders to absorb it, to take it. We think that it will be a very, it will create a very big impact in this market. Thank you very much and I congratulate you once again. God bless you. Thank you very much, Martin. Uh, indeed, we have journeyed, uh, I would say, the sector together, and we pledge our support as Sunlam that uh, we are always here for consultation and will always, uh, we'll always give our best thoughts uh, to grow the sector. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, I would like to invite Mr. Keith Kaliejira. Keith is the Chief Executive Officer of the Capital Markets Authority, uh, where the licenses for collective investment schemes or unit trusts uh, are basically sold from. So Keith, please, thank you. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Bugalia. Thank you very much, Martin and uh, Mark, for your comments. Good morning, everybody. Um, I want to thank all of you for making the time to attend this, this launch. It's a, it's a milestone in our industry. Um, I also want to thank the press. We always forget about the press, but the press plays a very, very important role in amplifying the message of... Uh, capital market development, about what the capital market is all about. Um, so we shouldn't forget about that vital role they play. Uh, I want to thank all the industry players who have supported the initiative of the growth of capital markets, and in particular the collective investment schemes. 
Um, I recall when we, I started uh, out in the CMA at towards the end of December uh, 2013, the assets under management for CIS is only about 8 billion shillings. Shortly afterwards, that figure moved to 31.4 billion shillings. And right now, as we speak, it's about 726 billion shillings. If you annualize that growth, it's about 69% on a compound annual growth basis. If the industry continues to grow at this rate, I suspect we'll be at about 10 trillion shillings in the next six years, if that rate of growth is sustained. So thank you very much, Sanlam, for joining this effort. I know you're a strong player. Uh, you've been around, as you say, since 2004. Um, we've never had any issues. In fact, we have continuously drawn on the resources of Sanlam from time to time when we're conducting our compliance seminars which is an indication of the attention that Sanam plays, uh, pays on compliance. And we appreciate that. We want to see more market players um, you know, self-compliant, self-regulating, because our key job in this industry is to ensure that there's confidence in, the, in investing in financial assets. It's hard enough to understand how you can you know, put your money in, in instruments that you can't see, you can't touch, you can't feel. Um, it's hard enough to invest through you know, entities that don't have tall buildings that are visible for the public to see. You know, banks and many others tend to give that sort of confidence that they're here to stay. So the regulator is really there to make sure that, that everybody who is licensed is capable and able to do the job well, um, professionally, and consistently. Um, indeed, our vision as CMA is to be an innovative, efficient, and trusted regulator in a regionally competitive market, where regionally is not East Africa, but regionally is Africa. If you look at the growth of the CIS industry in other countries, I'll give an example of Morocco, where the CIS assets under management are about 60% of GDP. Now the GDP of Morocco is about $120 billion. So I'll leave you to do the sums. Now, to your point, Martin, the bulk of those assets in Morocco is pension assets. So if pension funds are wondering where to put their extra savings, CIS is uh, one of those destinations that can easily absorb these assets. Um, and think about the banking sector. A large proportion of the assets of the banks are invested in collective investment schemes or unit trusts. All right? Um, in a sense, these assets, well, a proportion of these assets, just imagine if 10% or 20% of the banking assets were in collective investment schemes in this country, how fast that will grow. Because in a sense, you're investing the same assets. You're investing the same fixed um, income assets issued by the government, you know, bonds, treasury bills, ETC. Um, so the more Ugandans realize that they could earn a more decent return by saving their money in collective investment schemes or unit trusts, I think the more uh, savings will grow so it will become a self-fulfilling prophecy in itself. Um, I like what Marx talked about, you know, strong returns, minimum volatility, hence the launch of the fixed income fund. That, I think, is key really in capital markets because the volatility in the equity markets is what causes a lot of uncertainty for many investors. But, and that's why it's advisable that if you want to participate in the, income, in the equity markets, you invest through a collective investment scheme manager. Because these managers are skilled, they are they're continuously you know, valuing assets, valuing companies, and know when to exit and enter different companies. Um, and you'll do, do away with the volatility if you invested in equity funds that are launched or started by, by unit trust managers. I think there are 14 schemes altogether now. You're now the 15th, um, for the fixed income fund of, of Sanlam. And if, my, if my, my memory serves me well, I think there's only one equity fund right now. We want to see more equity funds just to be able to catalyze activity in the uh, equity markets as well. One of the things we're focusing on as CMA is trying to see more liquidity in the, in the equity and debt capital markets. Uh, we want to make sure that any time you want to exit any of these markets, there's no doubt about the valuation, about the pricing that you'll be able to obtain in the secondary market. Um, and as assets under management, managed by CISs grow, we know that these, will be, these, these managers will become a very influential player in determining how the debt capital markets in this country will grow. 
So I want to congratulate you very much on the launch of this uh, fund, on this scheme, and also to look forward to more schemes uh, coming up, and also to more players joining this industry. There's a saying, there's always room for one more. Um, right now there are five. We lost two. I think we, yeah, over the past six years we lost two unit trust managers. Uh, but it's, it's good to see, it's gratifying to see that even as one or two leave, others join, others gain confidence and take this um, industry to greater heights. So I want to thank you very much for uh, that effort um, and just to urge all of you to be consistent out there and for those who are listening who are not yet invested in unit trusts, don't hesitate. They said the best time to invest was yesterday and the next best time to invest is today. There's something powerful about the compounding your returns. Um, and there's nothing as, 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 as terrible as sitting on the fence for too long and time passes by and your, your assets actually lose value when you don't invest. And as um, Mugalia said, the beauty of these assets is that anytime you want to withdraw your funds, you can. I know I have challenged the unit trust managers in this country to, to come up with pension type products, you know, long term private sector driven contractual savings where you know, you and me and many others can put aside a fixed amount of money for five years, for 10 years, for 15 years. I want to believe that uh, the way the Uganda shilling has held to the dollar over the past five to 10 years is an indication of the strength of the shilling as a store of value. I've seen many you know, offshore fund managers able to persuade Uganda to set aside $100, $500 a month for 10 years, 15 years. Why can't it be done? For Uganda shilling denominated assets, where if you break your savings of say halfway your contractual period, you lose part of your deposit just to force you to save for the long term. At the end of the day, it's your money, so it's for your benefit. So I want to encourage you and urge you, um, both the fund managers and the investing community, to demand for some of these products. I've seen them work, and uh, it's really for your own benefit that you save for the future. We have been amazed by the growth of uh, CIS assets during these COVID times. Initially, when COVID first hit in March last year, we were not sure whether there was going to be a run on assets as people you know, who have lost jobs start to withdraw their assets. But in fact, we've seen a rapid increase. Over the past one year alone, there's been an 88% growth in assets under management of collective investment schemes. In the, in the NDP3, the National Development Plan, the third National Development Plan, the target is to get to a, a trillion by 2024. I'm a bit shy about when I think about how the target was, was set because it, I think it's going to be surpassed in the next few months, uh, maybe within a year or a year and a half. So, but that, that should make us relax. I think we need to have a bigger target and a bigger goal where we see a significant proportion of bank deposits saved and invested in collective investment schemes. So congratulations and I wish you well on this journey as you navigate the waters of uh, increasing your customers, the client base. I forgot to mention the client base. The client base has grown from 8,000 to 20,000. Right now, they're about 20,000 um, servers. Now, that's a very small number, but I believe there's, there's huge potential for growth. And let's be part of history. Let's be on the right side of history to make this happen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Keith, for those kind words. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to that point where uh, we are going to launch the product. And I'm going to request the chief executives before us uh, to join us for cake cutting, after which we shall receive uh, some remarks from the trustee as represented sorry the trustee standard chartered as represented by Mr. Mwanga Oscar thank you
it's about that time that we are flagging off the product and I'll count to three. One, two, three. Thank you, thank you very much. I think we can take our seats now. And uh, just before we wind up, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Mwanga Oscar, who's representing uh, Standard Chartered. For our viewers, I would like to confirm that because of the governance around collective investment schemes and the trust that we have to give to the public, it is always uh, great to have the strongest governance you know, set up and that has already been established by the by the act and uh, without much further ado i think oscar can make his remarks thank you uh, good morning everybody uh, thank you uh, mr mubale uh, and thank you uh, our guests our distinguished guests our regulators and uh, I would like to start by highlighting that uh, the, key, the key message I've heard throughout this, uh, the launch of the unit trusts has been the word trust. And uh, we heard from the CMA, the Capital Markets Authority, uh, Mr. Keith Kalejira. And uh, the CMA provides the framework uh, upon which uh, Sanlam uh, provides their products. Uh, we have the Uganda Retirement Benefits uh, regulatory authority here as well. This is a regulator who ensures that uh, your investments in financial assets, in particular collective investment schemes, uh, are protected. We then have Sanlam, uh, who provides a service uh, beyond insurance uh, of investing, and in today's particular case, uh, unit trusts. And after that, uh, you have Standard Chartered Bank. And our role uh, in all of this is to ensure that the assets that Sunlam invests in are stored and uh, have the fidelity um, required of them. And for me, that is an anatomy of trust, uh, where the relationship between the regulators, uh, the service provider, uh, and the custodian uh, is unified uh, through acts and through a very strong framework uh, set up by the CMA. Um, the journey between Standard Chartered and Sanlam started in 2010. I think before they were rebranded to Sanlam, this was Pine Bridge. So over a decade, uh, we've been working together. And after they transitioned into Sanlam, uh, that relationship has continued. And I'm proud to say that uh, that's a partnership that has grown from strength to strength. Uh, it, is no, it is no secret uh, that Sanlam is the benchmark in terms of uh, both assets under management the quality of the investment decisions, and as we've seen today, the products that they offer. I would like to spend some time talking about the unit trust. Uh, this is a, a, a very, uh, well, Sanam has simplified the product, but I think the benefits deserve to be echoed once again. Here is an investment scheme uh, that allows investors to start from 100,000, and as we've heard from the regulators, can absorb all the way to trillions of shillings that guarantees that this investment has liquidity, it protects capital, there is no fixed term to your investment, uh, and they really worked through simplifying the process uh, for the investor. I think that is something that is uh, of invaluable service uh, to all the customers. I think the fact that uh, when we talk about investing, a lot of investors, the first thing that comes out, or the first question that comes out, is my money safe? Uh, do I have to commit for 20 years? And that has been demystified uh, by Sanlam and these unit trusts. So for 100,000 shillings, anybody can start their investment journey. But you also have the comfort that as your, your wealth grows, um, as your earning capacity grows, there is a fund manager in Sanlam that can absorb um, your hard-earned money, invest it for you. And I believe the rates of return that I've been spoken about are quite competitive. As the custodian, 
I think the relationship goes a lot deeper, uh, a lot deeper than uh, that may than may seem on the surface. We don't just store uh, the assets that uh, Sunlam has invested in, but beyond that, we provide foreign exchange services to Sunlam. Uh, we obviously do uh, some of the reporting uh, from our side, but crucially, we have a collaboration and a symbiotic relationship that has now transformed into uh, direct access uh, to primary auctions, for example. As a primary dealer, it means that Sanlam, as your investment manager, does not have to talk to uh, an intermediary. They have direct access to all these investment assets uh, through the bank, and I think that is a very powerful a uh, powerful tool that we have at our disposal. Now, I, I, I believe uh, looking ahead, uh, San Lami is obviously in a lot more places than Snapchat is uh, at the moment in Africa, but I believe our collaboration, uh, not only in Kenya, but now in Uganda, is only set to grow uh, as, as both companies uh, progress going forward. And beyond all of this, I would really like to thank uh, the diligence shown by San Lami's management by Mubale, we've worked together for a long time. Uh, Aileen, we communicate on a daily basis. Uh, I believe that partnership, or this partnership that we have, is set to go to greater heights. I would like to thank uh, and congratulate uh, Sanlam for the launch of this unit trust, and I'm fairly confident uh, the best is yet to come. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Mwanga, for those kind remarks as well. Ladies and gentlemen, our chief executives before us, uh, we have come towards the end of the launch for today. And uh, uh, just to re-echo to the public that uh, the fund is available for you to take advantage of, you can reach us on email, on WhatsApp, on social media, or give us a call. Uh, at this juncture, uh, I would like to uh, bring the event to a close, and uh, we will be uh, seeing off our regulators, and uh, we will be uh, available to address the press uh, there shortly thereafter. So thank you very much, uh, everyone. Thank you.